That's a big one. I have taken apart the transmission to my Shark Model 9403S, but this is fairly similar for some of the other transmissions for the Eskimo Ice Augers. Um, first thing I did is I used my owner's manual here. If you flip through it, you're going to find a parts list. So here are the parts list. I'll take a picture of that. So here are the two original gears. This one is supposed to fit in here. And as you can see here, this is totally stripped out. So we've ordered a replacement and this still has the teeth. So if you'd like to remove the ball bearings, there are snap rings like this one right here has a snap ring. So then you can just use your snap ring pliers and we can pull this off. Now once you've taken that snap ring out, we can... You can see we're pushing that shaft out here. So I was just doing that to show you, I just pounded it back. So I'm going to put a split ring back on top of that and seal that off. These bearings seem to be running smooth, so these ones should be good. So now I have the split ring here and I'm just going to open that up. Lower that into place. And then once that's in place, we're just going to make sure it's down and it's sealed, which is good. Now once you have that, you're going to have that little pin. You're going to need that in place. And this fits on there. This is like super tight. So make sure you have that pin in there. You're going to get it lined up and then we're actually going to have to pound this into place. And if that pin's not in there, you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna have a hard time getting it out. And I will be turning the volume down, but I can then there is a spot for a split ring here. So you're gonna put that second split ring over the top of that. And if you needed to remove this, this it, oh god, it's going to be a bear. So make sure you have everything in line, set up correctly before you put it on. And then next I'm going to take uh, another sp split ring, open this up, drop that on. And now that new gear is put in place. And next I'm going to take the 48 tooth 10 pinion gear assembly and I'm going to put that in there. First, I'm going to put a little bit more grease in here. So now that I put some grease in there and I am going to drop that in. They're both spinning. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack this full of grease. So I've got this packed in here. I went through, I did clean out this one as well. We want that clear. There's a lot of little metal shavings in there that are going to get into your pull bearings as well. So we clean those out and I have enough grease packed in here that when I slide this piece in, we do need to put our gasket into place. Well, I did put some gasket sealer or maker along the edges. I put these bolts back in here. I probably wouldn't have used any of that except for there was a, a good eighth inch gap over here. So I'll clean that. Now up. I have put that gasket maker in there. I tried to seal that up. I don't know why the manufacturer sold that. You're probably not going to have that. You can just put your gasket there and then tighten that down. I didn't want that big crack there. I don't want water getting in there and then rusting it out or anything inside. So now I'm going to put those bolts in. I've tightened those down and then I'm going to secure it with these nuts on the other side. And then now I've tightened these bolts down on the opposite side with an 11 millimeter socket. Now that I have this transmission put back together, I'm going to drop it back onto the motor. It's going to fit in there. Then there's some of these locking nuts. We're going to screw those into the back. And now that I've put those nuts back in, I'm just using my socket and I'm tightening the transmission back onto the, to the motor. And now that I've got that transmission put on there, because I put that uh, sealer on there, i got to let it sit for 24 hours and then I'm Really? 
on here I realized it was, uh, it was kicking and pulling me pretty hard. I'd used the auger with an extension and I was ice fishing in a river and the auger bit actually got stuck and I was really tugging and heaving and I think I bent the bit there and so ever since then I've had this wobble and that wobble is what created the uh, issue with the gears becoming stripped out. I did buy a new bit and it does cut straight, it cuts straight through the ice no problem just straight down no kicking. If you're getting a big wobble like this check your blades but there's a chance you might have sank your bit as well. Hopefully this video helps and as always thanks for watching please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching please like and subscribe.